Let's find out then who has made it and is returning today to cook off in the dessert kitchen. It's Michael Wignall with his blackberry and pears, shortbread espuma and cardamom ice cream versus Adam Simmons' dark chocolate ganache, pearl barley ice cream and chocolate cake. So, Michael and Adam got the judges' nod, but will they make the most of it? Hello, Adam, welcome back. How are you feeling about being back today? Yeah, very positive. You know, Michael's a very good chef, so we'll see what happens. But, and uh, he's a mate of yours, isn't he? Yeah, we're good friends, yeah. What are you going to be doing differently, if anything, today? The only things I'm going to do differently today is we put a bit more cake on so that it doesn't look like it's, um, <laughs> it's been dropped, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was what John says. That's, that's the general style of what people are doing now, so... So I think so long as now I can get more of the cake on there, which gives more texture, then hopefully they'll be happy. All right. But we'll see. Yeah, we shall see, we shall see. Listen, if you get through today, yeah. you get to cook at Wembley. What do you reckon? It'd be fantastic. Uh, it'd as be a amazing. football fan, yeah, yeah, it'd be brilliant. But... Michael's rival is fellow Michelin star chef Adam Simmons. He's serving dark chocolate ganache with pearl barley ice cream and chocolate cake. I got all the judges' votes last time, 3 nil whitewash, but this time, obviously, you're against Michael. He's a very tough opponent. I know Michael very well. I know of his reputation. Of course, I want to beat him without question. May the best man win. With an equally contemporary and challenging dessert to prepare, Adam gets cracking with his barley ice cream. Very unusual pearl barley ice cream. First for me, and I'm hoping he's going to wow me with it today. I think it was a lovely addition to this um, beautiful chocolate and hazelnut dessert. I really loved it. Next, he combines the ingredients for his chocolate cake, the part of his dish that left the judges hungry for more with its minimalist presentation. Last time when Adam gave us his dish, he went to great lengths to make a cake, and then all the while were about three crumbs on the plate, which seems such a pity. Thankfully, this time round, we're actually going to get a piece of cake that we can fight over. Continuing the chocolate theme, Adam prepares his cocoa nib twill. He's very, very precise about the sort of chocolate he wants, and it's all absolutely top grade, really delicious stuff. He then attempts to pipe out his ganache, made by melting chocolate with cream, which will accompany his chocolate cake. Mm, looks a bit concerned there, Adam. He looks a bit worried about his ganache. And... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if everything's going think. according to plan no. with um, Adam at the moment. That looks really firm. He's having a bad day, seriously. He's having a bad day. Oh, my gosh, it's he's having to pull it The up. nozzle's just Ooh. popped out of the bag. The whole thing's a mess. A nervous-looking Adam works his rescued ganache with a spoon. He's going to get a bit of heat into there, isn't he? Just warm it up a little bit, just to get that texture so he can pipe it. To finish, Adam slices his chocolate cake, and it looks like rival Michael isn't the only perfectionist. This is certainly precision cooking, isn't it? Look at these two guys in the dessert kitchen, both of them out with a ruler, getting everything done so precisely. It's catching, this ruler right, business. Is that a case of he's got one eye on one? <laughs> these dishes are very, very technical ones. They're a different breed of chef, and it's got to be technically brilliant for these things to work by alchemy. Coming up, a memorable dish. It's actually moved me emotionally, this dish. <laughs> Did the earth. <laughs> and the judges face a tough call. Brilliant, brilliant. Sometimes you come across two guys that change the boundaries. Go over and see how Adam's getting on. Looks good. That's oh, OK. You two are so cool. <laughs> but you did have trouble with your chocolate ganache, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. And for a moment there, I thought you looked a bit stressed. Yeah, I was stressed at that Were point. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting to break but out then in you, a sweat. Yeah, I sweat. But then you have to think about what you're doing and put it and then work it in the bowl and then put it back into the bowl. All right, so that's what you did. And the cake. Yeah. Just before I leave you to plate this thing up. Yeah. Are they going to get enough, or is it all so no, they're deconstructed get that no, they're, they're going to be... Enough. They're getting sure? enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're getting enough. Because they'll be enough. cross if they don't. No, you know no, that, don't no, you? No. <laughs> they just want a big slice of cake. That's the trouble. <laughs> well, we shall see. OK, gents. Time to plate up. So who has the best dessert in the South East? Perfectionist Michael has already impressed the judges with his scientific approach in the kitchen, but will his complex blackberry and pear dish live up to the top chef's reputation? Adam has promised to add extra chocolate cake to his deconstructed dessert, but that'll count for little if that troublesome ganache doesn't taste spot on. OK, in we go, Adam. I'm 
checking to see if you've got dry eyes or not. Oh. Yes. It's lovely. The, the, the chocolate, the <coughs> nut flavours. We've got a little slice of cake that everything sits on. It's rich. It's lovely. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what? Did the earth... Uh, the... <laughs> I think it's definitely improved from last time we tried it. Although the presentation's on a similar vein, it, it, it's more collected. There's a centre of interest which you can understand is the ganache on the piece of cake, the little cream garnishes. You know, it's just perfectly constructed. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jilly. Adam, we've had chocolate puddings and we've had chocolate puddings, but the great cleverness here is that yours has got such a subtlety to it. And I love the ganache, which is very slight, really. It's not a big, mm. overwhelming flavour. The cake, which we got some of today, thank you for that. That was a great <laughs> improvement. Delicious, with a little bit of hazelnut. We saw you looking a little bit sort of furrow-browed from time to time. <laughs> Wondered if it was going to be as good as it is, and it is. You needn't have furrowed. Thank you. OK, John. Adam, this is delicious as well. It is absolutely amazing. The way that you've extracted the bitterness of the chocolate and the nuts out of these, these ingredients, and the way you've introduced the textures and the cold of the ice cream, it's just... Actually, it's far more complicated to eat than it is to look at, and it's already pretty complicated <laughs> to look at. So... I find myself, and I, again, and this is only the second time, with having to make a decision, and I really don't know where I'm going to go, because they're both phenomenal. Very tough today. Very, very tough for me anyway. A um, little bit different than what I thought it would be. A few more mistakes crept in, but that's the way it works. Competition was fierce in the dessert kitchen between the two culinary giants, with Michael Wignall and his blackberry and pear battling against Adam Simmons and his dark chocolate ganache, pearl barley ice cream and chocolate cake. Right, the moment of truth is upon Michael and Adam. Michael, is there anything that you would like to say to the judges to persuade them to go for your dish? Um, I'm quite happy with the comments that they gave me. I don't really think I can improve it any more than what I've done today. Whoever wins, you know, I'll be rooting either way. Thank you, Michael. <sighs> OK, Adam, <laughs> what do you want to say? Oh, I'm just grateful for your comments. I think I improved the dish um, from last time. Hopefully it's strong enough. But if, like Michael said, you know, may the best man win. Thank you. Here we go, then. Judges, can we please have your votes for the desserts? And beginning this time, please, with Jilly. Michael and Adam, we went into a complete ecstasy over both your desserts, and with good reason, because they were phenomenal. They really were. Now, we have this expression, which is a juggernaut dish, which is so big and impressive that it sort of flattens everything in front of it. And I think today what we've seen isn't so much a juggernaut as a spaceship. We've seen a dish which I'm afraid, for me, has to win. And that dish is yours. Michael, your dish was a spaceship for me. It went into the heavens. Thank you. OK. One for Michael. John, which way are you going to go on this, please? Something strange is happening. <laughs> These desserts seem to have moved us. Sometimes you come across two guys, you two guys, that change the boundaries. And even as a grey-haired, slightly overweight chap, I can learn from you youngsters. <clears throat> and it's been really entertaining to watch you work. Brilliant, brilliant food from both of you. Adam, you said it's the best man. I don't think it is. I think it's a question of preference on the day. Michael's plate was beautiful. It was a masterpiece. And that's why, Michael, you've got my vote. OK. You've got two votes. We know you've got it. Adam, we know you haven't. I'm sorry, but... Ed, your vote isn't going to affect the outcome of this, but what are you going to decide anyway? Both of you have done something exceptional today. You know, really lovely. It was just a pleasure to eat them. Adam, I loved it. You know, I thought it was very special, but, um, Michael, it, it, it was a dessert that actually moved me. I, I, you know, it doesn't often happen. It did that. It really did. And thank you. I enjoyed it. And um, you, you get my vote as well. Thank you. <laughs> OK, thank you, Ed. Adam, on the day it was Michael's dish that yeah. swayed them, yeah. 
but what a chef you are, my goodness. Thank you. Yeah, I'm grateful for the comments and it's been brilliant. Well, we have loved having you on the show. Thank you. You have brought so much to it. But we have to say goodbye to you. I can't bear it, Adam. <laughs> Thank you.